So the operating point of a pump is defined by the intersection of the system curve and the pump curve. So in a simple application like this, where you're pumping into a tank, the system curve is made up of two things. There's a difference in elevation between the pump and the tank. So that makes up the static head, which is shown by the constant green line on the flow versus head curve on the right. In addition, you've got the friction losses in the line, which increase as the flow increases. So added together, these two make up the system curve, which is the red line on the right. The pump itself is defined by the blue pump curve, which dictates the combination of head or pressure and flow that the pump can produce. Where the pump operates is the intersection of these two lines. So this defines the amount of flow and the head generated in this particular application by this particular pump. So when you want to control the operating point or flow generated by the pump, there are two ways to do this. The first way is by using a control valve on the discharge. So in this application, say we wanted to achieve 700 gallons per minute of flow. Um, in this scenario, the pump and the motor are running at full speed and you would adjust the discharge valve to control the flow rate. So as the valve is closed, it essentially changes the shape of the system curve until it intersects with the pump curve close to our desired flow rate of 700 gallons per minute. So at this flow rate, note a couple of things. You've got a fairly large pressure drop across the discharge valve and you've got quite a bit of power and pressure, power consumed by the motor and pressure that the pump is operating at. The second way to control our pump flow rate is by altering the motor speed and therefore the pump speed using a VFD. So again, we're gonna to try to achieve that 700 gallons per minute. We're gonna fully open up the discharge valve and then reduce the motor speed. So what happens is we leave the system curve in its original shape with the discharge valve fully open. And as the motor speed and therefore the pump speed come down, we're shifting the pump curve down until it intersects with the system curve close to our desired flow rate. The flow result is the same as before, 700 gallons per minute, but with a few key differences. One, if you notice, our power consumption at the motor has gone way down because it's running at a slower speed. We also have a much smaller pressure drop across the discharge valve, and the pressure at the pump itself is lower. So this lower operating pressure means there's less stress on the components, which improves their operating lifetime and reliability. This simple demonstration visually and easily shows some of the major benefits a VFD offers in this example tank pumping application.